Hey, we're going to multiply and divide fractions now. This is the, This is how you do it. When you multiply fractions, you do not ever get common denominators. That is so not how you do it. We're going to um, cross cancel. But before that, if you have a mixed number, we're going to change it immediately into an improper fraction. So I'm going to rewrite this with the time sign. This is going to be 11 times 4 is 44 plus 1 is 45 elevenths. That's a good review there of changing a mixed number into an improper fraction. Um, and then we try to cancel anything. Any top number and any bottom number, it doesn't have to be diagonal, although usually it is, that has a common factor can be canceled. Here's what I mean. The 9 and the 45, 9 goes into each one. 9 goes into 9 once and into 45 five times. And then when you're all done canceling, which we are now, you never use the red numbers again after you cancel. Use the blue ones. And you multiply straight across. Don't fall for that cross-multiplying bullcrap. So you 8 times 5 is 40. 1 times 11 is 11. And that would be perfectly okay to leave it that way. 40 over 11. A lot of people, though, want to make it a mixed number. And I'll show you how to do that real fast. 11 goes into 43 times. That would be 33 with a remainder of 7. So this could be expressed like a clock going this way, 3 and 7 elevenths. So that would be an okay answer. <clears throat> Next, if you have two uh, mixed numbers, 5 times 4 plus 1 is 21 fifths times 8 times 3 is 24 plus 1 is 25 thirds. I'll go back to my canceling color here. Any top number with any bottom, the 3 and the 21, boom, boom. 3 goes into 3 once, 3 goes into 21 seven times. The 5 and the 25 will cancel. 5 goes into 5 once and into 25 five times. And this answer is, of course, just 35 over 1, which is just 35. And you shouldn't leave it like this. You should put it like this. Okay, so that's multiplying. Not everything you need to know, but the basic ideas. For division, division has an extra step, although it's very similar to multiplying. Here we go. Anytime you have a whole number, put it over 1. That is absolutely uh, the first thing you would do. Anytime you have a whole number, put it over 1. There are no mixed numbers on this, so we're just going to go right ahead. Rewrite the first one. Keep the division sign. And uh, we're going well, actually, we can change this to a multiplication sign. Sorry about that. Uh, we're going to change this to a time sign. We're going to flip this over. There's my little reciprocal symbol. Uh, five fourths. And then we're going to try to cancel. And the four and the eight will cancel. One here. Four goes into four once. Four goes into eight twice. So this is going to be two times five is ten. One times one is one. So this works out to be ten. Um, never cancel before you flip. Always flip and then cancel. When it's written like this, okay, what I would do um, is write this out 7 twelfths divided by 3 and 2 thirds. Think about it. That's what this means. 7 twelfths divided by 3 and 2 thirds. If you ever got confused by that, just remember this. 7 over 2, or I'm sorry, 16 over 2. 16 divided by 2 equals 8, so it would be written like this. So that's how you would do that. Anytime you have, uh, this is called a complex fraction. And you would write it out like this first. Make that equals. And uh, we're going to change this to uh, a uh, imp improper fraction. So 7 twelfths divided by 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 2 is 11 thirds. 11 thirds. And then we're going to rewrite the first change the sign to a time sign, flip that over, 3 elevenths, grab our canceling color, and uh, we're going to try to cancel. The 3 and the 12 will cancel. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 12 four times. And we multiply straight across after you've done all that. That would be 7 over 44. Final answer. Thanks for watching.